Okay, hey there, this is Matt Williams. Uh, sorry for the, you might hear some background noise. Um, there's a generator on that's right outside my window. The power went out about three or four hours ago. Uh, pretty much the entire island. And so I've had to deal with this for no, hours. Anyway, so let's take a look at just a simple example. Uh, you said that you're having a problem with uh, Dolphin Mistral 7B V2.8. So, I've got a simple bit of code here. Uh, let's take a look at uh, index.ts. Uh, again, I'm using uh, TypeScript because I tend to use TypeScript. But here's my uh, simple code. Um, I'm importing a llama, and I'm importing a, a, a nice little package called dirty JSON. If you're embedding JSON in JSON, it's sometimes really useful. And um, uh, sometimes Olama, in the last few versions, sometimes returns without being done, and that uh, causes some sort of error. So I've got a little try catch block, and that's unrelated to JSON. It's just something in uh, Olama recently. I'm, I'm not really sure what's going on there. But um, so kind of go past that, and you see there is the in, in line seven here. Um, I'm using Olama generate because I'm not. I'm not doing anything with uh, a conversation, so I don't really need the chat endpoint. Give me a list of three random color names, only output names in lowercase, output in JSON format using the following template. And then I've got um, basically a JSON uh, blob with colors, uh, and that's set to an array of colors. And I have three random colors, color one, color two, color three. Uh, very important is output in JSON or output as JSON or you know something about saying I'll put it as a JSON thing um, but then also in the parameters for the or the options for the call saying format is JSON that's super important otherwise yeah you're gonna get um, some text that says here's the JSON or uh, this is I think or this is the answer to your request or you know something goofy like that so always got to have format JSON and the output in JSON ideally you know you'd also have uh, maybe a an example like a, a few shot prompt um, where you provide an example of what the output is that you want but this seems to work in this case again it's Dolphin Mistral 7B V 2.8 and then um, when everything's done, uh, at the end, I'm uh, in here, I'm in this uh, while loop. While done is false, um, I say colors, uh, push the colors to the colors array. And, um, and so that is the list of colors. And then I'm just outputting the log, or outputting the array of colors. So let's try this. Oh, and then I, I at first was doing um, just running it over and over again, which turned out to be a pain in the ass. So I just created a simple bash uh, script that just says uh, for one for i in one to one hundred, do bun run index ts. Okay, so it's just going to run that whole thing over and over and over again for a hundred times, and let's see what it does. Uh, I need to run test. 100.sh and hopefully if everything works uh, now the fact that it's I, I'm saying just output colors which is in the response so if the um, if it was responding with something other than JSON using the the value the, the field of colors this would fail it would uh, it would break but it seems to be doing great a uh, hundred times. I don't know how far I, I should have put an index in there to, to say, oh, you're at try number 50. But oh, software update, I, I don't care about the software update. Um, so it's still going. Lots of blues and reds and occasionally aquamarine and fuchsia and olive and magenta and teal, fun names. But looks like it went through all 100, and I didn't have any problems. So, yeah, that that uh, definitely points to it always reliably spitting out only the JSON, nothing else, and it's um, yeah, it, it works great. So I would love to see any sample code from you about that shows how it's not working. But this seems to be pretty. Uh, this this is pretty perfect and really easy to do. 
Okay, I'm gonna stop now.